I like to fish all day when I go down, I park myself and that's why I have a cart. <laughs> it's back and load it up, I have ice in there or whatever. And I'm a junk man, I pile everything into it. And uh, I made it up where I have my rigs, my sand, sand uh, spikes. This I found out to be the best sand spike going. And because of this flat wedge that you see here, when that digs in, you put it in this way, and dig in, you put your pole in, you leave it. But then I used to find out, I get hit with my pole in there, my pole would sit in here, and I get hit, the pole would bang down, fish let go, it would pop out and lay on the side. And then if the fish still keeps going, it wind up breaking the pole sometimes or not. So what I did, took a little Velcro, this way, when I have the pole in there, put the Velcro on. This way, it can't move and stays there. This way, while I'm playing with the other net, uh, the other sand, don't mind me, I'm nervous. <laughs> sand spike, I have the two poles going, so you're back and forth. And uh, what I use, I use a fish finding bait runner. I use the bait runner I find is uh, very efficient because you put it in there and that fish could walk off with it. And, and when the fish goes, he just keeps zinging that, zinging that, and you can adjust the back real light, heavy, according to what the wave action is. And then as soon as uh, you turn your handle, you're in your main gear. So you don't have to do uh, anything and then uh, you just set up and you're all set on that. And a lot of times what I like to do is prior to fishing, I usually take a sinker when I first get up on a beach, and I just take the sinker, and I flip it out. I run my line out, stretch it out, get it all wet out. Then as I bring it back, I use a no stretch line, except the first couple of feet I use a monofilm. Uh, I started using that because sometimes the sand, when you're on sand, on the south shore there's a lot of sand, and it gets abrasive. So it's easy to change the monofilm, but you still got the sensitivity with the Power Pro or spider, uh, spider wire I like. Those two are about the best, and they work the best. And you got the sensitivity. <coughs> And as you reel back, you can feel all the little divvies up and down. And you know there's a little hole here, a little hole there. And then as you come on the beach, you look either high or low tide, you see little points that come out. You could fish either side of the points. Sometimes you get a nice bowl, you can fish in a bowl sometime. But I like the points, and uh, if I happen to hit at low tide, you see a little, a lot of sand with shells and all that. That's the best spot out of the part of the beach because there's a lot of wave. And that's where the water goes out the most. You want to try and find an outgoing current because as the waves all build in at different heights, different times and storms, it builds in. All that water that comes in got to go out. And when it goes out, you can see one wave, they all come and they join in that wave. That's what you want to fish. Try and get your bait there. You can get a long one out, and then you fish a short one. Usually they're in 